Hello everyone and welcome to another How You Sees It video. Happy Valentine's Day. For Valentine's Day, I wanted to do something special, so I gathered some games together that I think either thematically really fits well with the holiday Valentine's Day and or some games that really I think would be fun to play on Valentine's Day either in a group setting or double date or just with your significant other and even some of these are going to work solo. So but let's go ahead and talk through some of these great great games all right so let's go ahead and start with maybe the most obvious choice possibly for those familiar with love letter love letter is a micro card game it has very few cards i think it's like 18 i want to say 18 cards in there uh they come in these like velvety bags uh it is a very very fun quick game very easy you're going to draw a card play a card and you are trying to either eliminate the other players or trying to end the round with the highest numbered card. All sorts of fun stuff with this one. It's been around quite a while. Very popular, great for two to four players. Uh, the different versions, so I really like the Batman version. Other than the artwork and stuff, uh, they do have slight, some of them have like slight game changes. And I, I like the one that the Batman Love Letter Edition has. I really am upset and sad that I didn't get the Lord of the Rings Love Letter, uh, which is hard to uh, come by now. But Love Letter is a great one for Valentine's Day. Uh, so definitely wanted to cover that one. Looking to spice up your Valentine's Day, you can do that with Pepper Pong. Pepper Pong is a new game that's uh, come out. This is actually a, a tabletop game. Uh, you'll see this and think auto automatically, right? Ping Pong. So this one here, it's a little bit different. Uh, I did a review on this recently. You have these uh, these paddles, or they call them mullets. Uh, they have like this, their foam, they have like a hard plastic with a foam here. The balls, they have different spiciness, habanero and jalapeno and all sorts uh, of the ghost peppers, the red one. Uh, and they have different densities to them. And so it really changes the play up. You have a hard plastic net that you can fold out on any flattish surface and you are good to go. There's four paddles in the set, so you can actually play with another couple. You can do doubles, or you can do some singles. Uh, but really, if you enjoy like ping pong or pickleball, things like that, this is a, a great game and a, a great one for Valentine's Day. We have Jack B. Thimble. Jack B. Thimble is published by Guru Games. This is a brand new uh, game company. This is their first published game, and it is fantastic. Very simple concept here, but great for uh, group gatherings. This goes for 3 to 16 players. So very, very fun. It has the basic concept with this one is you have this little plastic thimble that you can fill up with water. And that you're going to take turns being the thimble holder. And the thimble holder is going to choose a category card. And they are going to say doctor uh, occupations and jobs. And they're going to write down doctor secretly on the card. Then they're going to go around to each player. And that player has to state a job or an occupation for this uh, example. And so they go around, if they repeat a word, they get splashed with water, I get a refill and we keep going. Or if they say something that doesn't fit the category. Uh, or if someone says the word that I, the secret word that I wrote down, I get to splash them in the face with water. And then we go on and it's just, it's really fun, really easy. All the cards are uh, made, are like a plastic, so they're all waterproof. Uh, and you have the little marker here. It also includes a couple of cards here that are blank. So you can make up whatever categories you want. So it's a really great game. Really enjoyed this one a lot. 
Uh, and so great group game, three to 16 players on that one. We have Cluster, Game of Attraction, right? Valentine's Day, uh, Day of Attraction. We have these magnets. If you like magnets, uh, this is a really fun game. You have this little cord you put out here. You can play one to four. You can play this solo, trying to, you know, the puzzle of trying to get in the magnets, uh, see if you can get them all in there without them uh, attracting to one another and uh, gathering and clustering together. Uh, but in two to four players, really, you are trying to lay these in there without uh, having any of the magnets clump together, cluster together. If they do, you have to collect those magnets and put them with all your other magnets. Uh, and uh, then the winner is the one who gets rid of all their magnets first. So that is Cluster. Really fun game. Uh, great for Valentine's Day. We have Sky Team. This is uh, a newer game that's come out. It's a two-player cooperative game. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of different cooperative games out there, but this one's very thematic. Uh, you are the pilot and co-pilot of a an airplane, and you're trying to land this. Uh, and there's different airports. You're trying to clear the runway. You're trying to, you know steer this plane and uh, handle the speed, deploy the flaps and the landing gear to be able to land safely. Uh, starts out really pretty basic, uh, but it's really, really fun and it has lots of different modules and different ways to make it more difficult. You can have, hey, you're leaking fuel. You have like a, a wind element that now you have to deal with how the wind is blowing. All sorts of fun things. Uh, that one uh, is a two-player co-op game published by Scorpion Mass Games. It has been really enjoying that one. Great game for Valentine's Day. Looking to heat up the evening. You can heat that up with Pedal to the Metal. Uh, this is a great racing game. And one of the things that's really actually kind of nice with this is that the... Game controlled, or sometimes referred to as AI, uh, for the other, you know, a lot of racing games. If you're playing with just two players, you just have two cards on cars on the racetrack. Uh, there's not a lot of interaction or excitement as much because there's not as many cars, you know, racing against each other. Well, this has a really great system that you can play two players, but still have all six cars on the racetrack and uh, you can even play this solo and with all the other racers as well and it works really really well so it's just it's a really great racing game in general but the the fact that you can play this one to six players uh and you know really well two players i think that just makes it very unique in that regard and a really great game to play on valentine's day uh, last, certainly not least, is I think the most thematic, even more so than like Love Letter and uh, things like that, I, I is Rose Ceremony. Rose Ceremony is for three to six players. Uh, this is published by Blue Orange Games. And it's just, it's a really simple, fun little kind of bluffing card game where you have these cards and they are all different kind of variations of a rose. And you are trying to get rose points into your bouquet. So you're looking for rose points and you're trying to avoid these thorns. And uh, on your turn, it's very simple. Really, you're just gonna, you're gonna have a collection of a few cards in your hand. You're gonna choose one and you're going to offer it to one of the other players on your turn, and you're going to say, will you accept this rose? If they accept it, they go ahead and they have to take it, no matter what it is, and they're going to put it in front of them and start their bouquet. And they're trying to get a certain number of rose points. After that, if you have the minimum of four rose points, you're able to turn that in for a certain number of points. And you're going to play until someone has five or more heart points. Uh, or if someone is able to get 10 or more heart points, uh, or rose points, sorry, 
uh, you immediately win the game. But we have to be careful because if you have five or more of those thorn uh, points in your bouquet, then you bust. So you immediately lose all of those points. This would be, we have five, so it busts. I have to clear that bouquet, just get discarded, and we continue uh, to play. So you're gonna offer a rose, you're gonna draw a card, offer a rose, and that's it. And so it's a really great game for families uh, that you can play. It's very simple, very quick, it has some fun uh, uh, heart-shaped uh, petal tokens, uh, nice cardboard that uh, make it nice and thematic as well. So that is Rose Ceremony. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. Hopefully you can get together and uh, play some, uh, some of these great games. Just a quick uh, run through of these again. We have Heat Pedal to the Metal Racing Game. We had a Rose Ceremony, three to six players on that one. We had Cluster, one to four. We had Sky Team, our two-player cooperative landing the plane game. We had Jack B. Thimble, which is 3 to 16 players. And we have Pepper Pong. This you can play uh, singles or doubles. And we had Love Letter. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a great one, and we'll see you next time.